Alright, what's up guys? In the last episode, we murdered Gyarados. So now we go in here, and this Lance guy has completely lost it. He's attacking people with his Dragonite. And what's more is he's using Hyper Beam, which is a horrible move. Seriously, who uses Hyper Beam? Anyways, he's gonna go and head down the stairs. I honestly think they just added Hyper Beam so that they could give him, like, a seemingly really powerful move that actually isn't that good of a move because of the whole recharge thing afterwards. Now, as you walk down here, you're gonna walk by some Persian statues. Now, this is actually a really great opportunity for you to train your Pokemon if you want to. Okay? And what I mean by that is instead of activating the switch, you could just keep triggering it and getting these trainers to come up to you with their Drowsy and Zubat and Grimer and whatever. You could do that if you wanted to, like if you needed the levels. So, um, I'm obviously not going to do that because that would be incredibly boring and kind of cheap, to be honest. That's like the equivalent of level grinding. And I'm not... Oh, no, I did not mean to do that. Okay, that was stupid. Um, whatever. Just shadow sneak your butt. And kill the Zubat. Okay. Rattata. I need to faint attack you. And, so, I'm not gonna do the thing I just explained that I wouldn't do. And, um, kill these Team Rocket members. So again, what you can do is either keep triggering the statues to by walking by them to get more battles um, and more experience because it would be like infinite or you can make your way down this way and face one extra battle but also get a TM and um, basically what you have to do is draw this guy away from there so that you can get to the Pokeball if you walk directly in front of him you're uh, no offense but you're kinda dumb because now you can't get the Mega item unless you go like around his back which Honestly, who wants to go around his back? Okay, he's just got a couple Magnemites, and I think he has a Porygon as well, but I'm not sure about that. Crit didn't matter. Three Magnemites, alright. So he's cool, He's he's got three Magnemites, so good luck with your three Magnemites, buddy. You're never going to accomplish anything. Reach 45, Scientist Greg goes down. Alright, now you can grab this Pokeball here. Oh, actually, I guess you could make it around him if you blocked yourself in so I guess I'm the idiot so anyways um, you can push the switch here and now the surveillance system is off so what that means is you can walk by all those statues and not have to worry about triggering them see I can walk right in front of them and now what you're gonna want to do is go this way grab the items over here um, and this basically takes you around the back now if you make it to this point and perhaps your Pokemon are like weakened and banged up and stuff. If they are, don't heal them. Do not heal them. And the reason why is because when you go down here, Lance is down there waiting for you. And when and he's gonna talk to you, and he's gonna heal your Pokemon completely. So it would be a total waste if you were like, oh I'll just use a bunch of max potions and hyper potions here on all my Pokemon if they're weak. Okay, so don't do that. Now you can make your way around this way um, this guy isn't oh, or actually is I thought it was he was gonna be the one that was like oh the guy with the dragon beat me up but he's not he wants to bow he knows what's up and he pulls out a venonat um, shouldn't be much of a problem for a Sableye uh, especially because I'm at like level 45 now and I'm just gonna kill all these people with shadow sneaks so that's it for that. Done with that guy. Moving along. Let's see if I can get this done fast because I don't want this. This this whole segment takes like a really long time. I don't want it to go like obnoxiously long. So hopefully I'll be able to get it done pretty quickly. Okay, so now you've got a gold bat. Probably can kill the shadow sneak. And yeah. Okay, so nothing's really phasing Sableye at this point. Okay, go down here. And there's another guy with a Dragonite, and... Okay, so that's the guy that's like, Oh, that guy with the Dragonite is really powerful, so... He's gonna tell you about the fact that you need two passwords. Now, 
I believe in order to get the passwords, but um, the only way to get them is if you actually talk to the people who have the passwords after defeating them. I think that's the way it is, but I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that. I'll know for sure when I'm done here, so anyways, um, you can run around and grab a couple items, um, which is what I'm doing. And there are a lot of trainers in here to get to, so just bear with me as I fight my way through them. Um, there are two types of trainers here. There are, like, this guy who has, like, his little ditto here, who's going to transform into your Pokemon. And I'm really glad I killed that thing, because that would have been scary if it turned into my level 45 Sableye. Um, and then there are Team Rocket guys like this that are... Um, Going to be carrying mostly Raticate, Rattatas, um, Grimers, Drowsies, uh, Zubats, Golbats, um, Coughings, Weezings, Eakins, Arbox, that type of thing. Okay, the, just just basically the evil-looking Pokemon is a good way to put it. So that's what's going to happen in here. Ooh, a protein. I should probably use that, but I'm not going to. I'm going to head out of here, head up here, no, nope, can't go that way, alright, so I came down, yeah, no, I got to go down this way first, sorry for the confusion, um, should definitely head in there first, no, I, yes I can, okay, talk to this guy, He's a battler, he's not important. A lot of these people you don't even need to battle if you don't want to, but of course I need the levels, so I need to do this. So, yeah. I'm gonna Shadow Claw this coughing to death, and you're gonna pull out another coughing, because that makes sense to just post a guy there with two coughings. Um, kill that one, get that done. Scientist Ross. Who names their kid Ross and becomes a scientist? I wonder if that's like a friend's reference. But whatever. Team Rocket Grunt with his Ekans is gonna intimidate me, and I don't want to get poisoned. But I don't care, and I don't. So that works out. All right, cool. I'm gonna pull out a Gloom, huh? All right. Well, I'm gonna Shadow Claw you, and you're gonna die because it's a crit, and it doesn't even matter. Okay. Now, after you beat her, talk to her. I repeat, talk to the woman. Because otherwise you won't get the password. Um, do I need to talk to this guy? Yeah, you do. Okay. So now we have both passwords. Slowpoke tail and Raticate tail. Because those passwords make complete sense. Let's so name them both after Tails of Pokemon. Um, empty desk over here. And make our way all the way over here. And there's another Team Rocket number. Okay, so this guy's like, oh, uh, something. I, I didn't even read it. I should have read it, but I didn't. Oh, Rattata. Oh, I've never seen one of these before. What am I going to do? Fan attack. Oh, yep, that's that's that. All right. Pulls out a Zubat, and I'm going to Shadow Sneak. No, I guess not. I'm hitting the buttons too quickly, and I hit Fan Attack, so that's that. And another Rattata. Oh, boy. Um... What, what fun this is with all the rats and bats running around. This is like a cave, only it's futuristic looking. Okay. Head down the stairs. Down. Okay, so now what we need to do is make our way this way. Oh, my. He's here. Okay. I was not expecting this. But Red is here. Not Red. What? What's his name? What did I name him? Walda? Okay, so he's just gonna punch me in the face and walk away? That's cheap. I thought I was, like, all geared up for a battle here. But anyways, um, pick up an Ultra Ball over here. Ooh, I might just be able to get this episode done in less than 12 minutes. That'd be fantastic. Well, you're gonna walk up here. And there's a guy. And he's wearing a hat. And he's like, muahaha. So clearly he's evil because of laughing like that. Um, he's pretending to be Giovanni. Um, which... Doesn't make any sense, because he's got, like, purple hair and stuff, and he dresses kind of like a girl. Um, his name is Petrol, and he, as in, like, 
I think it's like petrol, as in like petroleum, as in like, I don't know, like rocket fuel or something. That's the only reason I can come up with as to why they'd name a Team Rocket mem member petrol. But anyways, kill his Pokemon quite easily. I mean, these rocket executives, they're not like gym leaders you, like you might think they would be. They're incredibly easy to beat. So, that's it for that. Um, now, he is going to be all like, oh, you won't get the password from me, haha, <laughs> and he runs away. And he, like, runs into the wall. Now, after he runs away, this parrot's going to come up and be like, a hail Giovanni, and mimicking the voice. And so, this is kind of like a neat little addition to the game that they added this in. Anyways, um, you can make your way back up that way. I'm not going to do that yet because there are a couple more trainers. Or not a couple more trainers, there's another Pokeball over here. TM46 Thief, which is quite fitting considering the location. So now I'm going to make my way down here and back up here. And so now there's the Murkrow again and still... You know, I mean, this is kind of like the far fetch thing where you have to chase the far fetch, only not. All you have to do is keep approaching the Murkrow, and eventually you'll catch it. So, um, now I gotta make my way down here, and there's the Murkrow again. It's gonna yell and run away again. So, this is fun, ch chasing this little Murkrow around. Now, when you come up here, it's here for the final time. And you're going to run over here, and it's standing right in front of the door. And it's going to yell, Hail Giovanni, and it's going to open the doors. And so then you're in. That's that. And you can get into this place. Okay, so now here is the final trainer battle of this episode that I'm going to do. And it's with another Rocket executive, Ariana, and a Team Rocket member that was hiding somewhere. And then Lance is going to show up, and she's like, what? Two on one? Where's your sons of dignity? And it's like, it, that doesn't even make any sense, because she was about to take me on two on one, so who does she think she is, right? But um, She's got a Drowsy and an Arba. Okay, so this shouldn't be a problem at all, because Drowsy's going to go down quite easily here. Um, he's got a level 40 Dragonite, so like even if your Pokemon suck, you're going to win this battle. I do not want to learn Confuse Ray. Um, it's just not useful to me. Okay, so I am going to kill that Arbok as soon as possible because I don't want to get glared. Wow, that that did nothing, but the fly is going to kill it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, wow, that's cheap. Evasive Claws is being violated here. Um, Shadow Sneak on the Grimer should kill that. And it did. Okay, good. Oh, Thunder is sick. He's just like mutilating the other team. That's, that's pretty nice. And one last Shadow Sneak should kill off the Gloom. And it didn't at all. And you're going to use Acid on my Sableye. Okay, that works, but whatever. And kill the Gloom with the Shadow Sneak. And that's it for that. Dragonite is left flying in the air, so he shouldn't be there, but he is. Okay, so now all the Team Rocket members just disappeared. So if you didn't battle all the trainers, they're gone now, so it's too late, I think. So now Lance is going to do some inspecting and be like, oh, we have to kill all the electrodes. And so whatever. Lance kind of takes like a, oh, we have to hurt the Pokemon approach, and I, can, I don't want to, but we have to. But you don't even have to. You could just you know, um, catch all of them, but apparently he doesn't want some crappy electrodes on his team. Um, I don't either, personally, but whatever. Oh, this actually works out great, because most of these electrodes use explosion, or self-destruct, or some variant of explosion, basically. Um, shouldn't have sparked there, I don't know why I just did that. Shouldn't have focus punched, I should say. But anyways, the explosion is not going to be able to affect Sableye if they use it, so that'd be cool if these guys just kind of blew themselves up, but they're probably not going to. And one- oh no, I meant to hit shot. Uh, 
Did not mean to do that, but you're gonna light screen anyway, and I'm gonna kill you. Okay, cool. So that's it for that. All the electrodes are dead, and then you walk over here, and Lance comes walking over, and he's all like, oh, we're done here, and he gives us HMO5. HMO5 is Whirlpool, and Whirlpool doesn't actually cause Whirlpools when used outside of Whirlpools, it just gets rid of them. So, explain that one. If you use Whirlpool on a Whirlpool, you'll get rid of the Whirlpool. So, maybe it's like a reverse direction thing, like if you spin fast enough in the opposite direction. So anyways, I just took the shortcut out of this place by stepping on that pad, and I'm out of here. Um, now you'll notice, once you're done, that the antenna is exposed completely now, and the tree is gone, so I'm just going to heal up my Pokemon. And in the next episode, we are going to take on the Mahogany City Gym. Or Mahogany Town Gym. So, that's it for this episode. Get ready for the next episode when we take on Ice-type Pokemon in the Mahogany Gym.